But it occurred to me for many, many years that there was a uh, large grave area between psychiatry and religion that uh, was untapped and no religion had ever been based on man's carnal needs or his fleshly pursuits. All religions are based on abstinence rather than indulgence. And all religions, therefore, have to be based, based on fear. Well, we don't feel that fear is necessary to base a religion on. <clears throat> the fact that religions for thousands of years have been uh, telling people what they should do and what they shouldn't do according to the basic whims of a person who might be running the show is very understandable. We're realists, we Satanists, but we also feel that a person has to be good to themselves before they can be good to other people. So we feel the greatest sin of all is self-deceit. This is a very selfish religion. We believe in greed, we believe in selfishness, we believe in all of the lustful thoughts that motivate man because this is man's natural uh, feeling. This is based on what man naturally would do. We feel guilt is a necessary thing, not necessary that it's uh, practiced at all times, but we're stuck with it. We have it in our collective unconscious. We have a certain amount of, uh, uh, of feeling of apprehension for things we've done because we're taught from childhood not to do certain things. Any attempt to sort of scrape the psyche clean is only going to make us much more and certainly much more uh, uh, fraught with with frustrations and tensions. So what we've done is just reverse the procedure instead of trying to free ourselves. We've taken all these hang-ups, we've turned them into useful situations. If you're going to be a sinner, be the best sinner on the block. If you're going to do something that's uh, naughty, do it. And realize that you're doing something naughty and enjoy it. Myself, I have naturally many of the same problems, the trials and tribulations of any regular minister, of any other church. The only thing that really uh, presents a difference is the fact that I cannot uh, perhaps be sanctimonious about things, but I can that I want to. I can pursue any kind of lustful desires that I might feel. I can uh, engage in any activities that are so-called sinful activities and not really worry about any ecumenical councils making it right for me to do these things. Sexual freedom is something we feel is very important as a necessary requisite of the satanic church. It isn't the most important thing, but certainly it's an elective. We feel a person should be free to indulge in all of the so-called fetishes, all of the so-called uh, uh, aberrations that they would so desire, as long as they don't hurt anyone that doesn't deserve or wish to be hurt. I guess the two most popular reasons that people join the church is because either they're just disgusted or they're just fed up with a sanctimonious pussyfooting around that other religions have given them, and they're just tired of uh, saying one thing and practicing another, and they'd like to at least get together with other people, and after all, man is a social animal, and uh, no different than any other animal, except he's probably the most vicious of all animals and uh, he wants to get together with other people that feel the same way he does. And why not belong to a religion or to a group of people that at least uh, believe in the same philosophy? Some of these rituals consist of recreations of old ceremonies that have been practiced for centuries. We recreate the ceremonies of the Knights Templars, a noble group of gentlemen who because of social pressures made it very obvious that they were the standard bearers of Christianity. We feel that in the light of what society has shown us in the last year or two, we have pretty much uh, exemplified what the Knights Templars were doing, except we, of course, climate-wise, don't have to worry about calling ourselves Christians. We call ourselves Satanists. We recreate many of these ceremonies. We also recreate many of the ceremonies of the West Indian Voodoo religion. and. Uh, we also will utilize Norse ritual, the casting of the runes, calling upon of Wotan, and Thor, and Loki, and all of the gods and demigods of the northern regions. We perform human sacrifices by proxy, you might say, the destruction of human beings who would, let's say, create an antagonistic situation towards us in the form of curses and hexes not in actual blood rituals because certainly the destruction of a human being physically is illegal but 
we feel that the sacrifice should be a deserving one. We don't chop up babies or cut the heads off of cats or chickens or goats. We feel that this is another example of the sanctimonious hypocrisy of those who call themselves witches, warlocks, white magicians, who have practiced these things for centuries. One of the most objectionable things to me is when a person asks, well, what do you have to collect money for? What do you have to charge for this religion for? Why don't you just have a free will thing where it doesn't cost to grow with this religion? And they accuse me of just being a money-making racketeer, a con man of some sort. When every other religion on the face of the earth hasn't seen to object to, to uh, taking money from their parishioners, they've built large cathedrals in the midst of people living in squalor, they've constantly garnished people's wages, uh, in a sense, by having so, many, uh, so much percentage subscribed to churches, and yet no one has ever criticized this that is uh, in the position usually to criticize me for conducting a continence game of any kind. I feel the money spent would be poured into the satanic church, and I say poured into it, if possible, to be used for, or would be used for, much more worthwhile purposes than the building of edifices and cathedrals where the people who live in squalor in many cases around them can simply go into the church, beat their chests, and say, I am not worthy. At least when you give the devil his due, he smiles upon you, or at least expecting a little payment in return. It seems that most religions now are buying oats for a dead horse. We feel that uh, all religions are coming around to Satanism. We're in the uh, very throes of a new satanic age. The evidence is all around us. All we have to do is look at it. There is a new title for Christians called Christian Atheists. and. Uh, of course, many movements such as the Unitarian Church have existed for a while in what would amount to a form of atheism in evening clothes. And we feel that there is no reason why these people shouldn't just flip the coin completely over and simply call themselves what religion has called them for many, many years. Call them devil worshippers or disciples of evil or Satanists. Of course, it's very hard for a person to hang an uncomplimentary label on themselves. And for this reason, for many years, there will be people practicing Satanism as good Christians or other religions. And uh, they will in instinctively pursue the very same things that we are, as they always have. Satan is simply a word that means the adversary, or the opposition, or the accuser. It doesn't necessarily mean evil or brutality or cruelty. It simply means the dissenter.